Hello, welcome to today's show. Um, today we're going to be talking about problems, and um, not just any kind of problems, problems from our pasts that um, we need to get out in the open and share and hopefully, you know, make us feel better about ourselves. So um, today we're going to start with Richard and uh, he's going to start with a problem and we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll see if it helps. So, Richard, would you like to start? And remember, remember Richard, a problem shared is a problem solved. Exactly. So, well, I'd, uh, I'm sorry to again kick off the show on a depressive note, but that's why we're here. That's why we're here. Thanks. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I've got to get it out there. Yeah. <sighs> when I was nine years old, magical, magical age. Oh well, yeah, I was a little terrible scamp. <laughs> when we all. <laughs> well, when I was uh, nine years old, I was a member of a choir, like many nine-year-olds. Yes, yeah, I was also a member of a choir. And uh, I used to look up to the priest, I mean, he was a wonderful man, yeah. like most priests are. Yeah. And uh, anyway, the priest took a shine to me, which... That it made you feel special. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and he invited me round for a special sermon after choir. Uh, only the problem was this wasn't a special sermon, really. What, ha what, what happened, Richard? Well, he, uh, he, he molested me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Start with heavy petting. It's okay, we're, we're here to help. Let's get it out. Start with heavy petting and then um, kissing. Kissing, mm. yeah. Mm. Well, he, um, he, he was full on intercourse with me, you know. And I've, not been, uh, I've not been able to tell anyone about this. Could you not tell your parents? I, I can't really tell my mum and dad because they are dead. Mm -hmm. Well, when they were alive, they used to respect the priest, so I couldn't really... Uh, yeah. Respect. Mm. That's a key word. But, I don't know, I feel a lot better now. I've shared it with everyone, so... Yeah, I'd like to say... So I'd just like to put in there, if I can, Richard. Um, I've got a similar, similar experience, so... I hope you feel better. Yeah, yeah, I feel a lot better, yeah. Okay, my experience was quite similar. I used to also go to choir practice, like Richard here. Not the same choir, but... Similar. <laughs> and um, my brother used to come and pick me up after choir. I don't know who picked you up, Richard. Your parents maybe picked you up. I walked. I walked, so that's, yeah. Well, I got picked up by my brother and um, he used to take me home. My mum and dad were never home because they used to work late and um, he used to look after me basically. And uh, sometimes, a lot of the times, he used to pin me down and uh, give me nuggies. Mess, mess up my hair, uh, yeah, um, sometimes he'd um, typewriter me, he used to call it the typewriter, he used to pin me down and do that on my chest, dead hard, then maybe a quick slap at the end, cha -chi, type, you know. But the worst, one of the worst things was, um, oh God, I used to watch my favourite TV show, The Brady Bunch, and it, it used to come in halfway through, Turn it over. I mean, oh. he was sick. He was sick. Oh god! And I thought and I had problems. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's not. It's not a competition, Richard. It's mm -hmm. not a competition. Mm -hmm. Just because my problem might seem more, you know, more to deal with. And, but we're just, it's just here. We're just here to get things off our chest today, and hopefully, hopefully, we can learn from it, and uh, hopefully, these sort of things won't happen. To other people, maybe if people talked about it more about sibling rivalry, maybe mm. this won't happen. Yeah, yeah. So. hope. But anyway, that's all we've got time for this week. So um, next week we're going to be talking about pets and the loss of pets and how to, you know, deal with that. You know, they're playing part parts of life. I know you must have had pets when you. My hamster died. Well, I had a goldfish. So oh, good. Well, that's. But it's not like I say. It's not a competition. So yeah, that'll be next week, so don't miss that. Mm. See you then. Yeah. Mm.